So stereotypical Seattle day, walking inside to see one studio. Hello, Hi welcome. Everyone. Let me make sure this door closes because it's been acting up. Okay. Aha, uh -huh. there we go. So well, welcome. Thank you. Could you tell us a little bit about TK Studios? Yeah, so right now we're entering the 306 South Washington entrance, which is um, this particular hallway is just for uh, artist workspaces. Uh -huh. um, the TK is part of Artspace, uh, which is a company based, uh, it's a nonprofit based in Minneapolis. And they, uh, the floors above us are work and lift spaces for artists. And then these hallways, like the 306 and the 312, um, are just workspaces. Uh -huh. So, but the whole building is uh, pretty much based on either artists or artistic um, businesses. Like, you know, there's a couple of galleries. Uh -huh. um, so this hallway, all there's seven artists in this hallway, seven studios, mm. and we we sort of rotate the art um, every couple of months just so that we have different spaces to show our work. Uh -huh. um, and this one's one of yours. This is one of mine. So th this this time around, I got this wall. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, so these are my works here. There's some more of Bond's works. And so, um, usually sometimes there's more people here. Right now I'm the only one here. Mm -hmm. But you can see everybody's work on the walls. Um, hmm. And then this is... I actually have this one. Oh, you do? <laughs> yeah, by Joseph Steininger. We well, I think this one is going to come home with me at some point. <laughs> that is an awesome one. That is awesome. I love this work. And this is your studio. This is my studio. So just to give you a little background, this little area here was the front room gallery uh -huh. where I used to show um, other people's work. Um, then when the pandemic hit, um, and my husband started working from home, I felt like I needed my own private office so that we would still like each other uh, <laughs> yep. at the end of the day. And, and also just logistically, it just makes more sense for me to have a separate office. So yeah. um, then I just started hanging my own work because I'm one of the things that, that everybody, everybody, uh, every artist has is like lack of storage. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, have some of my work up here. And this is the piece that's in the hall. Yeah, that is a photograph of, of actually it's a photograph of originally of this piece that's down here. Um, and I remember working with Stephen Miller to get that because yeah. I was like holding it up <laughs> and creating the shadow and then he, he worked as Photoshop magic to, okay. to finish it. I love that. Yeah, so it was a little bit of a collaboration. So what's the orange safety vest for? Well, you know, I, I do some public work. Um, and this, I got this vest and the hard hat when uh, we broke ground on the 12th and Yesler building, which is being built now. Uh -huh. And I'm going to be making some work for them probably next year, mm -hmm. uh, once the building starts coming up. Very cool. So yeah, I, I you know, whenever I have to go to any kind of um, building site, I take my little vest and hard hat. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the story about this little guy? That's a Tim Fowler piece mm. that I bought uh, a few months ago downstairs um, in one of the galleries. And it, it just kind of made me smile. It makes yeah. me smile. <laughs> and I, I feel like that sometimes, like, get out! <laughs> <laughs> get out! Okay, I will, but not before <laughs> you finish the tour. <laughs> So let me t tell you a little bit about these, um, these, especially these five pieces that are on this wall. Uh, these are from the Baranda series, and Baranda is the word in Spanish for railings, so it's, it's not as exciting as it sounds. Uh -huh. But the reason why they're called the Baranda series is because they are inspired by designs that my father uh, made and fabricated for the house where we lived in in Cuba. Uh -huh. 
So I was always, even as a kid, I was fascinated by these railings. And I decided to take take his designs and kind of twist them a little bit mm -hmm. and just be inspired by them, not copy, yeah. um, and create a whole body of work that revolves around those. Cool. So th these, and these are still ongoing. There's more to come. But oh. um, yeah, uh, so they're kind of a little homage to him and his mm -hmm. designs. This photograph was taken in Havana in one of my trips. Uh, at this was in 2017. That's a great picture. Yeah, and I was just walking around with my family around Old Havana, and this guy was just fixing his BC taxi. Mm -hmm. And I asked them if, you know, can I give you some cash and take your picture? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> and he said, like, do I have to do anything? I was like, no, just keep doing what you're doing. Very cool. So, and um, yeah, so here I have a bunch of photographs that I've taken in Havana. These are from, these are probably all from my first trip back that I, when I went back 45 years after I left. Okay. And I ended up using 50 of these images uh, for a book. Uh -huh. um, so sadly the book is sold out and I'm not gonna be re redoing it, so. Yeah. Um, Those are some great photos. Yeah, though. and I got to go into the house, into the homes where I had lived, uh -huh. uh, and I said, "Don't, don't touch anything. Don't, don't. I didn't want to stage anything. Yeah. I just wanted them to be as they were. So Very. it was a great, great opportunity. And I'm glad that I got to go into these homes. And then these so pieces. This whole, this series are from the Strata series, um, and they're really kind of based on the idea of this, the Earth's strata. Um, as someone who loves architecture, uh, I was doing a lot of work that, you know, kind of represented the facades of buildings and things like that. And these are more about the actual ex excavations for foundations and the way that we have to situate a very level building on not very level ground. Mm -hmm. So there is that, um, these to me are architectural in, in nature, um, yeah. I see them that way. And I, I used, um, so the way that I, these are built out is that I, I cut the designs out of cardboard. And mm -hmm. so I, I tape the cardboard down to the, to the wood panel and then I fill in between with molding paste. So oh, this okay. raised area is molding paste. Okay. Then I start doing the color. Oh, very um, cool. So. Very cool. And you have a little bit of a view of downtown here. And as you can see, all those seagulls flying around, they love my windows. So. <laughs> Didn't even notice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, these are all like works in progress that um, I'm still working on. Mm -hmm. not, not quite ready for prime time. Yeah, you don't um, need to show us. And you know, as you can see, a lot of times things get shoved over to one corner when I'm working on something. I would expect nothing less yeah. from an artist. Um, and s storage is a problem. Yeah. It always is in any yeah. kind of city, city so, situation. I, a lot of times I just kind of walk around and be like, don't look that way. Mm -hmm. but, and these know, are more of those pictures. Yeah, these are more of the same, uh, from that same body of work. Um, I think I love the tropics as much as you. Well, you know, I, I feel that I need a dose of it every once in a while. Especially living in this area? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So um, th these are, um, these are called hollyhocks, and these are, these are actual uh, reproductions of the original paintings that I did for a sort of semi-public project. It was, it, was, it was a private developer, but these are done in stainless steel and they're on the 24th Avenue side of uh, Midtown Square. Mm -hmm. Midtown Square is on Union between 23rd and 24th. Mm -hmm. um, and so they're, these are, there's a little tiny picture of them here, but uh, they're done in stainless steel and uh, on the side of the building. So what, what I'm doing with these reproductions is that um, I'm involved with this organization, Arts and Noir, and 20% of the money from the sales of these goes to Art Noir. Very cool. 
and these these are my plant children in the studio. Uh -huh. <laughs> and you know, sometimes they sometimes they do better than others. Like that one's blooming. <laughs> this one's this one's getting ready to bloom again. Uh -huh. um, some of them need to be repotted because they're sort of growing. In the air plants. Uh, yeah, yeah. These I'll, I'll, and pretty much all of these have been given to me by people who got frustrated with their orchids and once they bloomed, it's like, okay, I don't know what to do with it, it's here. <laughs> <laughs> so you're the orchid savior. Yeah, so I feel like uh, they're orphan orchids. And so what's this award? Let's see, that one was for those, the Governor's Arts Award that I got in 2019, I believe. Mm -hmm. And it was um, for an individual artist. Um, this this one was for the art space award for activism mm -hmm. that I went to Minneapolis to get mm -hmm. this um, actually so Joseph Steininger made this for me this was a uh, one of those laser oh uh, printed yeah, yeah laser printed and this is a little mock up of the. 12 foot sculpture that I did for Renton Technical College. Very cool. And this, unfortunately, this little thing fell off, but yeah, I, have to, I have to re glue it. Crazy little <laughs> work. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, the, I love Joseph. The, the, the whole idea of, the, of this was since it was for the automotive department of the, of the college, uh -huh. I wanted it to look like, um, like a hood ornament. Oh, okay. So, this is kind of why it kind of looks Very cool. Like And then these. So um, these are all. These are my desert-inspired sculptures. Um, I've had the opportunity to go down to like Palm Desert and mm -hmm. spend like a month at a time. Mm -hmm. um, and a, a friend of mine had a house there, and she was gracious enough to let me stay there and make art. So I, the first, actually, the first year I went, I. I did like 30 ink and graphite drawings. Um, these are the ones that are left from that whole series. Uh -huh. um, the second year that I went, I, I, started, I made 10 larger paintings, uh, acrylic on paper, mm -hmm. with the idea that they were gonna become sculptures, that they were gonna become this. Yeah. Um, so I've done several of the 10, not quite finished with all of them. Um, there's some more like down here. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, there's, you know, the, the thing about all the artwork in the studio is that there's work from every series <laughs> that I've done. Because, uh, you know, this is not only my, you know, showroom, I guess we can call it, but it's also where I store things, you know, yeah. this is, you know, sometimes when I have to use one of the walls for actual painting, I have to take everything down, put it over to one side, stack everything, and then use the wall for, for making art. Yeah. And I don't know if you noticed that I have this rolled up part because one of, so one of the things that when people come in here, they go like, "Are you? Do, do you actually make the work in here?" And you're like, "All you have to do is like look at the floor, yeah, and that should tell you that yes." The floor, <laughs> the tar, the table. Yeah, yeah. And this tarp, I usually have it rolled out because sometimes it drips. Just it just becomes a puddle. Yeah. Uh, so at least I don't want to, you know, flood the whole space with paint. So. Yeah. Uh, but Very yeah. Cool. This is, this is my happy place, this is where I work. Well, thank you, it's beautiful. And I love that you have all the natural light, too. Yeah, the light is great. Sometimes the view is questionable, but you know, it depends on yeah, what's going on. It's a on city. <laughs> <laughs> it's a city. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, thanks for coming. Uh -huh. Take care.